Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to get perfect text inside focus in your images. As you can see, and as we all know, Stable Diffusion is still pretty terrible at text. Here I input a cute corgi holding a piece of cardboard with the words subscribe to my channel written in marker. As you can see, I ran this 10 times and there is not a single one of them that actually says subscribe to my channel on it. So we're going to take one of these images. I love this one. The image is the best, but the text is arguably the worst as it doesn't even have any of the words in there. But it's still an amazing picture, so I want to use this one. So the only thing we need to make this work is of course focus and a simple image editing program. I'm just using Canva. So as you can see, I'm running focus inside of Run Diffusion just to make everything go faster as I've only got a GT 1080 GPU. But of course, this will work the same anywhere. So first of all, to make this work, we need to tell focus what we want on the sign, but using an image instead of this text here. So here we are in Canva. I just dragged our Corgi in here. And then we're going to hit use in design. Now it's important to note that you have to use the same aspect ratio as the new image we're going to generate. So just keep all the aspect ratios the same. So let's just grab a box element and put that over our text here. And now we're going to add our text here. So let's do add a heading. And this is what we wanted it to say. Now this is also where we will choose our font for focus to try and copy that. As you can tell from my thumbnails, I always like intro rust. So we'll do that. Just make sure it's nice and bold nice and big. So that's it. We're going to just download that. Make sure to keep the size the same. So back in focus, there are a few things we need to change. First of all, you want to head over to advanced, then developer debug mode. And under the control tab here, we just want to select both of these. We probably only need this one, but there's no harm in checking them both. This will make sure that if we go to input image here, that we can input an image and in paint out paint and it will use both of those. Next we want to head over to the in paint tab still in the developer debug mode and here in the in paint respective field we want to up this all the way to one. Now as you can read here value one means it will use the entire image whereas value zero means it will only use the area that we're going to mask. So we're just going to use the entire image So put this all the way up to one and that's it for the extra settings. So now under the input image so here under the in paint out paint this is where we want to upload our original core image there we go and now we just want to mask this part so you can hold shift and scroll to zoom in you can hold control and scroll to change the brush size so we're just going to mask a good portion of this there we go we can hit r to reset the window here you're just going to leave this on in paint or out paint then we're going to head over to image prompt and then at the bottom here we're going to hit advanced and then this is where we will upload our new corgi image with the text added there we go then you're going to hit cpds and we'll leave these values here for now i'm going to decrease the number of images it will make to four and this should be all we need so it should use both the image prompt and the in paint out paint image we're going to leave our prompt the same as it was and hit generate as you can see it's merging the text and the image don't know why it made it all colorful there as you can see it starts with that box that we drew in canva but then it slowly dissolves into the cardboard there which is what we want you can definitely still see the square but as you can see it gets the text completely right all the letters are there this one and didn't actually the first one second one it got it completely right third one as well now if i add black marker in here it should only be black so let's actually see if we can first let's add black in there and then we're going to decrease this stop at slider to maybe 0.4 let's try that again so as you can see, it is blending in better to the cardboard, like the box is gone. But because we decrease that value, the text is actually not as good. So it's all about finding a sweet spot there. Or you can just give it a go a few times. Yeah, so that's not good enough for the text. So I'm going to increase it to 0.43 now. Run it again. There we go. This one looks very realistic. It has, I think, changed almost all the generations. Changed the font to, I think, the Comic Sans type font. Um, that's probably because Intro Rust is not a standard font included in these things. So I've got one that was quite similar. But yeah, there we go. As you can see, it looks really good. Now you could say you can do all of this in Photoshop. I'm not very good in Photoshop, but you definitely could do something like this in Photoshop, of course. However, this can be a lot faster if you are not good at Photoshopping. And there's a whole bunch of other use cases for this. So that's it for this demonstration. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Or you can join my Discord channel and ask there. Or just hang out. If you leave a like, I'll love you forever. And I'll see you next week.